Hi everybody, welcome to the Emacs Conf 2023. I hope you're doing well and you're having fun. I'm Tony Alden and in this talk we are going to see how to build a static website with the package 1.l that I wrote. But before we start, I'd like to uh, thank all the people who uh, organized that conference. So thank you all for uh, the great work. So now let's uh, jump into the documentation of 1.l, which is built with uh, 1.l. Uh, in the install page, we can see that we have a sidebar with all of the pages uh, in the documentation, some buttons to uh, switch between pages, and we also have a table of content for some of the pages if uh, we uh, need it. Uh, now let's jump into uh, 1.l repository and see why I like uh, how it is uh, implemented because the, the website that we've seen, the documentation, is just one file. So this is that file with um, the headline of uh, level one being the uh, web pages. Uh, they need to be a web page to have uh, the property, the org property one set to um, a render function. We are going to see uh, how they work after and the custom ID the value of the custom ID is the, the path of uh, the page. So uh, really, the website that we have on the left is uh, this uh, this file. So uh, to me, this is something simple like that that I wanted. And another thing is that when we want to change something uh, in, uh, in with uh, 1.l, we don't um, uh, change configuration or write uh, JavaScript or anything else. We just uh, write Emacs list code or uh, a bit of CSS. So this is what we have with a mini buffer website that is built with 1.l and the only thing that I had to do is to write Emacs list code. So the two things, the content in one file and if we want to change the layout, CSS and Emacs list. This is uh, 1.l. Now let's uh, go to our note and we are going to uh, start a new uh, project. How do we do that? in a new empty directory, so new project directory. We call the function one default dash new uh, project. We have that project which is one five with the five default uh, type of pages that we have and one CSS file. How to build uh, that website? Okay, so we call the function one dash build. This build the website, we jump into a terminal and now if we run three, we can see that the website has been built in the public uh, directory with the information in the org properties and the, con uh, the content of uh, one.org uh, files. Okay, cool. Now we are going to uh, render that in the, um, in the browser to serve that. And to do that, we can use uh, browser sync utility, which is cool with that, is that uh, each time we are going to uh, so we go into public. Each time we are going to change or rebuild um, the website, uh, this will be a reload in the browser. So uh, one, this is that website, is now uh, this one. So let's put them uh, side by side. We go there and we may do something like that. So 1.l, the home page, so our custom ID with uh, the value uh, just a slash, is rendered with uh, that function 1-default-home, which is a render function. And the first argument of that function is the headline, uh, uh, this uh, current headline. So um, passed with the org parser, and uh, then we do uh, the thing that we want to do, and the, the render function return an HTML uh, string that is used to, uh, to build uh, the pages at uh, the custom ID. Uh, now we can go to uh, another uh, web page, the, the second uh, web page, and we see that uh, there is a different value for the one property, so another um, render uh, function, and the custom ID at the path of uh, that page. So we can see that in the browser. So this is block slash default home list uh, pages. So this is that. Now there are uh, three uh, other uh, pages, but we can uh, list that like that. We do a grep in that file and we see uh, the uh, different uh, default uh, render function. Uh, uh, in the second part of uh, that uh, talk, we are going to write um, a render function. So we are going to see that uh, after. Now, maybe we can go to the default uh, page. And let's modify uh, that default page. So we see that this is uh, this uses uh, one dash uh, default uh, uh, render function. And now let's uh, write foo bar bas. We want to modify the content. Uh, we save 
we uh, call again one dash build this rebuild and we see uh, here we have it uh, full barbaz in the default page now we uh, can use um, when we use one dash build this also copy uh, the, the the files in the asset directory into the public directory so this is not always what we want to do sometimes we just change the content and for that we can use one and a render page at once so if we use that one uh, this just render the uh, current uh, page so we see that we have uh, again full barbaras uh, pre uh, in uh, the page now let's add a, a new page so to add a new page we just have to copy uh, one of them maybe the default page we are going to call it uh, maybe emacs conf 2023 we still use uh, one default render function to render it but we want to change the path so the custom id we are going to give it blog and uh, emacs uh, conf 2023 with a slash at the end and the content we no longer want as it one but maybe uh, uh, we're having a lot of fun so we save that we uh, rebuild uh, with one dash build the, this and now uh, where and uh, now we can uh, look at the top and pass it the pass one uh, emacsconf dash uh, 2023 so we have that uh, new page now how to link between uh, pages so we are going to write a link that link to the last page so uh, page with the table of content to do that we just have to use the value of the custom id and to link to a custom id uh, inside our mock we use the hashtag we pass it uh, here then we pass it uh, uh, the description so talk uh, and sidebar and now uh, if we press return inside emacs we jump to that uh, page so this is cool and now we uh, build again and we see that we are going to have uh, the link to the page in the browser okay so uh, this link to the default page with a table of content fine but maybe what we want to do is to link to the headline foo in that page how do we do that we do that by adding a custom id okay we keep uh, the first part which is uh, the page where we are and we uh, add it hash, hash with foo so that headline foo will have uh, the id foo uh, in uh, in uh, its uh, h2 uh, uh, tag html tag and now we can uh, link it here with uh, still custom uh, id so foo and now it's uh, headline headline with what headline foo in talk uh, page so we have that if we press uh, return we jump to that headline uh, in emacs so uh, this is super cool and now if we call one uh, dash build uh, we see in the browser that we have a new link and this link link to uh, that uh, specific inline so this is cool so we have the the link between pages that works uh, inside emacs and that works well also um, in uh, the browser now uh, let's say that we uh, want to change the css so we we've added the page uh, with a uh, specific um, uh, content and uh, we've done some link now we want to modify the uh, css file which is in the asset uh, directory the so one dot uh, css um, uh, each time we change it we want to have live reload uh, uh, that copy that uh, file into the public directory so uh, the same we go back uh, here and there is a utility called enter entr uh, yes this one and uh, using that so a new uh, terminal we are at the beginning this will uh, watch the changing in what uh, dot css and enter will uh, copy it into the public directory each time uh, this changes so let's go back to your note because i choose some color that is uh, it, uh, cool and now we go back to the CSS, uh, CSS files. We uh, put them side by side and maybe we go to the new page that we were uh, changing. And we are going to change the uh, body. 
the background color oh, maybe we can change with the color that we've uh, just taken so just we save and we see uh, the changing uh, happening uh, we can do it uh, again with uh, the, the color that we have uh, at the beginning and this is the user experience that we have with uh, 1.l and the default uh, function so now that we've uh, seen that let's so uh, we've done uh, all of that all that part and now we are going to see how to write a render uh, function so let's uh, go the render function so one that uh, org are, uh, we remember these are the functions that are in the org property so we are going to remove that part we no longer want that one we don't want uh, this we just keep that one default we want this to be the home of our website we have that we rebuild and now we just have one uh, one page and we have uh, that page okay we are going to add another page that we call uh, foo and here we pass it uh, the render function foo that doesn't exist uh, yet and uh, we are going to uh, write it so maybe with some content some content and we copy copy we have that we call it bar uh, to have something to uh, to show so here uh, here uh, we uh, are if we build that so uh, we build it and we see uh, in the echo area at the bottom that we have an error void which is because the function foo doesn't exist so now we are going to write that function and we write it in the one dot rc dot l where we put any um, any uh, elisp code that we want to be run each time we uh, we uh, build the website or render uh, the uh, pages so we want a render function called foo okay so that takes uh, three arguments page three pages and global we are just going to uh, to look at the uh, page three in our case and uh, the render function uh, return an html strix this is the the thing that we want uh, from them so maybe full bar and bars now this is something well defined and with one dot org uh, here the file we uh, rebuild this and we can see now uh, in uh, the browser if we go to the page foo that we have foo bar bars. so this is exactly what we have uh, rendered by the render function that is set we see at the uh, bottom in the one.org file in the uh, one property. Now, uh, this is HTML, so we can pass it, for instance, uh, h1, uh, the tag h1, we, uh, we save that file, we go in the one.org file, we build again, and now we see that we have uh, an h1. Okay, this is uh, interesting, but if we uh, would have to build those function with a string like that this is a uh, boring and uh, not the best way so we can use the library jack which offer function jack html that take uh, takes uh, some data structure for instance an h1 a nested list that represent the uh, html that we want to render and uh, transform it into an html string so we uh, we have that we saved we rebuilt in the one.org uh, file with uh, one build and we see now that uh, this has been built using jack uh, dash html now um, what do we want to do okay see the thing that we want to do is to understand page tree so uh, what is page tree page tree is when we go to one.org this is uh, really for foo this is the past uh, so, uh, the parsed data of that headline that page so this is done with uh, um, no not this one we use so in the mini buffer we use one parse uh, buffer and we see this is the data that we have with that function first uh, headline and the second headline this is the uh, parse tree that uh, we have uh, this is that data that is passed to the full uh, render function one thing that is cool so uh, rc uh, here is that as uh, we uh, are dealing with uh, with data we have all the data of the website we can uh, show them in the web page no 
uh, why not? So, uh, it's uh, great to uh, write the website and also to debug if we need to debug at some point. So let's uh, render page tree directly in the page. Uh, one dot org and we uh, rebuild, we reload and we see this is what we have. This is the data that we have. Okay. And we have, for instance, the uh, row value which is full, which is the uh, the uh, headline, the content of the headline in a row format. And we also have uh, custom. So here we have the custom ID uh, full and one full, which are the properties. And uh, when we are uh, inside those uh, full, um, those uh, render function, we have access to, uh, to this. So let's let's uh, what can we do now is to let's get the raw uh, value so we no longer uh, need uh, that maybe we can uh, do something like that so, uh, uh, so we create some uh, now html in html we want the body we want an h1 uh, h1 tag and we are going to pass it a title and in the title this is something that we let bind uh, here so the value of the title, we get it with all element uh, property, oh, sorry, pro uh, property and uh, the row value. So th this is the property that we want. So row value and we, what uh, from uh, which data we want that to page three. So now uh, let's have one doctor at the, the bottom. We build again. And now we uh, reload and we see that we get a foo. This is uh, this is that title, the value of uh, that variable in that uh, that uh, data uh, structure. Now let's get those two uh, property. How do we get those two uh, property? Uh, the same way, one that we call uh, one. So row value we change that for one. Or the other row value for custom uh, ID, we change the title for uh, custom, uh, ID, custom ID. And what we want now is, for instance, yes, so, uh, H1 again, and our properties. We add the all properties and let's do a list. So uh, an ordered list with early element. One, we want uh, that value. And that value will be uh, the value of the variable uh, one. Uh, we can do that with also uh, custom custom ID. And now in the one that we have to save and in one dot uh, or files, no, not like that. We rebuild uh, that and we see that uh, we can uh, get those properties. So this is super cool. So uh, as we are dealing with data and we have the, the information of the whole website, we can do uh, whatever we want because we have access to, uh, to uh, that data. Let's, for instance, add a date. Uh, the date of 2023. So I think this is uh, 02 when uh, there is a conference C. And we can get access to uh, that one again. Uh, here, so uh, date, and we go. We change the custom uh, ID with the date, and uh, in the list here. So uh, we want in the list this to be uh, the date, and we build again uh, that, and we have access to uh, the date. So so really, we can uh, we can do whatever uh, uh, we want. Now. Uh, we want the content. Okay, so so far we uh, we get the property, but uh, what about uh, the content? So H1, and now we put org uh, content, and uh, this is going to be uh, something in the variable content, and we have to uh, to uh, add that variable. So in the let binding, we write our content. Uh, we are going to have that content from the page tree. To do that, we use org. Uh, export so we need to export something into html we export the data with the backend so the data that we want is page three but we don't want the first in light so we use org element uh, just contents and we pass it uh, page three so uh, this is that but for the exported we need to pass it um, uh, also 
how do we uh, call that? Uh, we call that a, a org backend. So uh, one dash out is our backend uh, provided by, uh, by uh, one dot l, and uh, the last argument is nil. We are almost uh, done now with one dot org. We uh, build the website. And we see that we have an error is because this is not uh, contains. So the error, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, the error was this uh, org element uh, contains, I think. And now we build it and we must uh, see it here. So we have uh, the content, we have the org uh, values and Last thing that uh, we can do maybe is to put some CSS. Let's have a look to one uh, default function. So we can see in uh, in uh, one dot l file that we have uh, a lot of default function that uh, we can use to uh, take inspiration. And the last thing that we need is to link to the one dot CSS file. So uh, we are going to do that. So, uh, no one dot all no rc files. And this is here. So HTML we don't need. We have that one. We want the head to be uh, here. And add. we pass it uh, a, a class, which is a title, a div with the class uh, content. We have that. And now with uh, one.org, we build it again, and we should see uh, the website render with the CSS, the property, and all uh, the uh, content. And we've done that just with that uh, Emacs uh, Lisp file. So this is all I wanted to show you uh, today with uh, 1.l. Uh, I hope you enjoy the talk and um, have a nice day on the nice conference.